Oh man, what a beautiful April morning it is. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Silver Run Forest. And in the last episode, we bought the sawmill. You can't see it up there, but it's up there somewhere in that general vicinity. And we slept through the night after we delivered a ton of wood off to it. So let's find the thing right quick. And it looks like we should have some uh, some pallets up there. So let's get this Kubota. Get the uh, trailer all set up. And go up there and get some stuff. So I decided to go ahead and record one more. I hope y'all are having a great Thanksgiving. Like I said in the last episode, enjoy it with your family. But I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving and are having a great Thanksgiving uh, for all the American viewers and anybody who celebrates Thanksgiving. Uh, for everyone else, hope you had a great Thursday. <laughs> Let me speed the time back up. But yeah, we, uh, we're going to go get these pallets, get them loaded up onto here. We're probably not going to be able to hold very much in here, but we're going to at least get some going and we'll do some ferrying of goods right quick I do need to see about getting a flatbed for that in my truck but other than that it's gonna be a great day we're gonna make some money we're gonna get the first little bits of the ro the roller coaster out of the way and then we're going to look into buying the yeah see that that doesn't look like it's as at as much of an angle as it is sorry i know i'm in the wrong lane anyways we're going to look into buying the furnace the forge whatever you want to call it for the metal because we need to see about getting the metal going anyways and we haven't even been up there, so we're going to go check that out today. There's the train coming. I wonder if I can beat it right quick. I should be able to. Oop, not with that driving. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Yeah, buddy. All right. Oh, I need to go over there. Hey, hey, lots of stuff. And more stuff over here. Oh. Well, let's load this up first, and then we'll go to the, uh, I'm guessing that's overstock over here. So in the last episode, I did realize that my volume was a little too low on my microphone for all the stuff in the game. I apologize for that. Hopefully, that'll be rectified today. If not, we'll, uh, we'll work on it. Okay, we're just going to leave the Kubota running. Need to do this. I'm sorry I'm using super strength. I know some people don't like it. I apologize. But that's just how we're going to do things right now. We'll get a forklift later. I know there's one on the map. But it is out of pocket. So, yeah. We'll strap those down right quick and go back over here and see what I can pick up. If we can't level this trailer out a little bit. Because it is picking the rear end of my vehicle way up. Ooh. All right, so I know we're going to need beams. I know we're going to need regular planks as well. We're going to need all of it, honestly. All right, let's just call that good for now. Grab these beams, throw them up here. Grab these as well. Gonna pay good at least, that's for sure. And let's get this on here. There we go. Now let's load down the back of the Kubota. Oh, it actually went in there. It auto-loaded itself. Cool. 
I'm thinking we can just start stacking stuff on top of it. This is a terrible idea. For those of you watching. But we're going to do it anyways because... Why not? It don't like that. But guess what? That's how it's going to work. Right there. Go ahead and throw some more planks up here. Each one of these is a thousand liters. I can actually move this over and possibly get... that. Something like that. Okay. I'm going to count that as good. And we can probably go to the other side and get it done too. Yeah, there we go. Like that. It ain't got to be perfect. It ain't like DOTs down here. Ooh, that was bad. It ain't like DOTs down here trying to see what I'm doing. They are. I'm getting a ticket. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a ticket if they if they come look at this thing. And we got another pallet of, looks like, long planks over here. So let's grab that right quick. And we'll throw it on the front to kind of counterweight. And then let's go take this off. Alright. Bad ideas. That's what the name of this thing is. Bad idea. We're going to put our flashers on because we're not going to be going quick at all. This thing is loaded down. Alright, since it's driving so slow, I will see y'all when we get to the roller coaster. Alright guys, and we're at the roller coaster. It took me a whopping like eight or ten minutes to get this thing here. I don't want to go too far in because I want to check and see what all I need. Need four pallets of... You know what? Let's just throw it all in there. Let's just drive it all in there. Ain't like it's going to hurt anything. I'll be using it. Let's see how much we can get. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I should have reversed in. All right. Let me uh let me pull this forward. There we go. Oh wow, that was a bunch of money. Yeah, we're going to invest in a flatbed truck or trailer, one of the two. I'm thinking a flatbed truck itself. I think that's going to be good for us to do. Um, I want to keep the Kubota. The Kubota is a good little get around vehicle. I'm going to keep it. But we are going to sell this trailer. Uh, we'll repaint it. Get a little bit of money back and sell that thing. All right. Let's go to trucks. I know there's a flatbed in here. It takes a second to load because of all of the mods. So many mods. <laughs> it's my fault. I'll claim that. Yeah, this right here. Um, We'll probably do this one. It's got better horsepower. Yeah, we'll do this one. 37,000. 
I know I said we were going to save up for the uh, other. I'm not doing a double axle on the front. Let's see. Do all this right quick. Get black for everything. There we go. We will get the uh, the tree cutter here in a few minutes. I say a few minutes, but you know, we've got to uh, cut down some trees first. Alright, yes, we're purchasing this. Okay, and that is what it looks like. Okay, get this thing going. And unfold it. And this is the reason. Because it is a, oh, a rollback wrecker, essentially. But it's a flatbed. I wonder if I can use the winch. Oh. Yep. Can't use the winch. That's okay. Let's turn the hazards off. Let's turn the lights off. Drive this thing on up onto the trailer or the bed and we'll leave it right there and then we'll fold it back up that's kind of awkward <laughs> okay let's get that moved back up maybe because I didn't have the engine off or didn't have it secured or something I don't know but let's secure that on there I would kind of like to buy the wood turning as well, but I don't think I'm going to do it just yet. Yeah, the fastest I got on that entire ride was, I think, 11 mile an hour, maybe 13, maybe up to 13, but most of it was just so slow. Oh, look at the haze. Steering wheel takes forever to turn. And it is a big old semi. The cab over semi that they elongated the wheelbase and they threw a flatbed on it. Tell you what, we'll just do this. How about that? And let's back this thing off. A little bit of a jump there and we'll swing this Kubota in right over here then it's a fun little toy to just go mess around with we're going to fix this bed back up on this we're mainly going to use it as a flatbed but we'll use it as a car carrier a little bit as well and the lights on the back do actually work So, there's that. And we'll back this in and just park it here on this little grassy spot. Because why not? Okay. Let's hop out. And let's go down here and cut down some trees. So, last episode we did quite a bit of uh, deforestation. We're going to do some more. Actually, here's some trees right here. And there's a log here that I missed. It's a thin log, so I'm not too concerned about it. But I'd like to make sure that I get everything. We're going to also look into a tractor and a mower and a, uh, a stump grinder. I'm sorry, I could not think of the word. But a stump grinder as well. But that's not going to be in this episode, most likely. I won't say it's not going to be in the episode, but I don't think it will be. But yeah, we definitely need to mow this area before we plant some trees. Alright, that's dead wood, but that's not. Make sure we're not going to hit our truck. 
There we go. I don't think I own the other side of the road. Let me look. Where are we at? Yeah, I don't own the other side of the road, so I don't need to be eyeballing those trees. But we do own this one. It's some nice trees, that's for sure. We'll uh, chop that one. I'd like to let that one grow, but I don't think they grow. The ones that aren't planted. The ones that come standard on the map. I don't think they grow. We're going to do probably four or five trees. And then we will load them up. And I won't make y'all sit through that. Unless unless y'all like that kind of stuff, let me know. And I'll let y'all sit through it and laugh at me the entire time. I'm not seeing any more that... Well, this one right here. This one right here looks like it's asking for a chainsaw to cut it down. So that's like five trees cut. So... I'm going to get those all quartered up. And then I'll come back and we can haul them off. I may cut that one down too. We'll see. But I'll be back here in a minute. Alright, we got this thing all loaded up now. I ended up cutting down one more tree because we only had like four or five trees on and it wasn't really doing much. But we're going to go ahead and get this taken up to the sawmill and get it being processed. And then we'll see about, I'm going to speed up time to about 10, actually 15 times speed. All right, cool. No train coming. Oh, don't flip. I keep wanting to flip this truck right there. But anyways, like I was saying, we're going to see about getting this thing fixed up. Get it, uh, get all the production stuff going. And we'll see if we need to take the flatbed up there and bury any more, uh, production stuff down we are however going to take a ride up to the mine and look at it we'll need about 200 to 250 thousand dollars maybe a little bit more I'm not sure in order to get the foundry set up so we'll take a look at that as well I have a general idea of where I want to put it but no concrete plan yet. Oop. And we crashed. Again. Alright. Let me call AAA again. Okay. AAA got us flipped back over. They had some trouble flipping us over. They said this is a very, very heavy load that we got here. So, yeah. Not get hit by a train. That would be very detrimental to our success. All right. Swing up here. And then back down. And it should start taking it automatically. There we go. Starting to get them uh, logs into there. We'll do that. Let's go take a look at our production. And we'll see if we need to... So we got two planks over there. We got long planks and boards here. I don't know if there's anything else around here or not. Just kind of looking around now. Just exploring. Having us a good old time. 
Like I say, if y'all see a collectible on here and I don't find it, let me know with a timestamp down in the uh, description, or not the description, the comments, and I'll go back and get it. Huh. Interesting. So this is the uh, sawdust, or not sawdust, wood chips. It is technically sawdust. Yeah, see? So we can bring a tipper and a uh, wheel loader or bobcat or something up here and pick those up. Okay. I don't know where the uh, regular wood planks come out at unless it's just over there. But it looks like an overstock area. I don't know. Let's see if we got all of our wood out. Not quite yet. We got a couple pieces right here. We'll toss that out into the lake or the pond. And there we go. That's about 50,000 liters. Actually, probably closer to like 52,000 liters of uh, wood that we just put up in there. All right, let's drive back, and I kind of want to look around this little place right here. Let's pull off right there, and let's look. See if we see anything. Visitor's parking, huh? Connex boxes. All right, I don't see anything up here. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and take this on back home, and then we'll grab the Kubota and run up to the the mine. And we're clear that way, so let's go. So this uh this is a very nice truck. I I really like it. It's it it runs real good. It honestly it I don't have a problem with it. Now the trailer <laughs> the trailer is very top heavy when loaded, which is to be expected. I shouldn't be taking Shouldn't be taking turns at 65 mile an hour, but I do sometimes. We'll just have to deal with it. Put our blinker on. Alright, please no train. Okay, we're good. I haven't been hit by the train yet, but I'm sure it will knock my truck flying. Out of the two forces, I am the uh, the yielding force because that truck is or that train is not. It, it's unyielding, for sure. Okay, we'll pull the truck here for now and kill the engine on it. Make sure the lights are all off. All right, cool. Let's run up here, grab the Kubota, and run up to the mine and check it out right quick. Try not to make these episodes too short, because I know with stuff like this, I like to have longer episodes. Uh, a lot of times I watch stuff in the background, but I'm trying not to make them too long either, because I know a lot of stuff's getting cut out, and I hadn't got to the point where I can just go through and know exactly how much is getting cut out or any of that, so bear with me as I learn. I'm uh, trying to have fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun, and shout out to everybody who has subscribed already. Uh, I don't know every one of y'all, but I appreciate every one of y'all. Like, no kidding. Um, y'all have gotten me double the amount of subscribers I had last month, this past month. So, I honestly appreciate it insanely. I'm up to 58 subscribers at the time of recording right now. 
so there's that. Let's see. We need to figure out which way we need to go. Mine's up here, so take a left. Follow the road. Or go across the bridge. Second bridge, take a left. And follow that road. Okay, cool. Make sure I ain't gonna get hit. And let's go. So, second bridge, take a left. And then follow that road to the left. And then go across the bridge there. Very beautiful little areas here, though. We are going to do some exploring at some point. I hit this outside lane because I'm in a UTV. As I say, I did decide to do the three videos today. That way, you could have a video on Thanksgiving as well, since I will most likely not be doing anything. I've got stuff with my church I've got to do, so oh, let's smash that. So I may not be streaming or recording that day, so I wanted to go ahead and get a video recorded for that. Okay, I need to check again, see exactly, oh, I should have took that, oh no, I went over a bridge there. Okay, so we'll take this first right. There we go. That should get us up there. Uh, follow it on up. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I wasn't missing nothing. Hear that hawk or eagle? I can't. I don't know exactly which is which. Sound like an eagle to an extent, but we've got both of them down here in uh, the lower 48. So. What is this place? I just want to look. What is this? This is... Okay, rural farm. Got it. I guess when I come off, I went the wrong way. That road had me a little messed up there. So we'll go back and see about getting it done. And then we'll take another load of planks and beams to the roller coaster. And see what we can get for it. Hopefully we can get a bunch of money for it. Grow together, harvest together. Heck yeah. I have a buddy of mine that we used to play a ton of farm sim with. Almost smoked a deer and then about got hit too. Used to play a ton of farm sim with. I'm going to see if I can't get him in on uh, some farm sim videos. We may run this together. We may not. I'm not sure. But we'll see what happens. We used to love having the shenanigans with it. That's for sure. Oh, what is this? Now, um, now we'll leave it run. Oh, this is the mine. Can we go in there? Nope, we can't. Can we jump over this? No, we can't. Okay. What about here? Oh, they they ain't even gonna let me jump fully. Oh, hey. There we go, bear sculpture! $50,000. That's awesome. Alright. What is this? I'm not sure what that is. That's kind of cool, though. I think it's a little locomotive for these uh, mine carts. Okay, well, hey, we found the bear sculpture, so that's awesome. That's fifty grand awarded to us. 
So let's run up here and look at the uh, the new mine, I guess. The mine chute, whatever, whatever it is. And here's the Volvo equipment. We may actually fill this thing up just to see, just to see how it works and everything. What does this say? Mine shaft, new production building. This mine shaft will help you expand your production train. The mine is working permanently and cannot be purchased. The iron ore is collected in a heap next to it that everyone has access to. The iron ore can be refined further at an iron furnace. This produces metal, which can be used in other productions. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's get this thing crunk up. And bring it over here. It's the BM Volvo. I'm going to kill the engine on it so we don't run out of fuel. Because if we do, that's going to suck. Then... Here's another, here's another Volvo. That's cool. So, let's take this old wheel loader. I like it. It's interesting. Let's take this and scoop up some iron ore. It holds a thousand liters. I didn't see how much the truck holds. And it's a rear turn, so... In theory, it should turn better, but, you know. There we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright. I'm not going to play with it too much, just because we don't own an iron furnace yet. We're almost there. But I'm not going to mess with it too much. Okay. Okay. So let me jump back in. We will make waves back to our home, and then we'll grab the flatbed, take the flatbed up here, load it up, and go from there. So I'll see you back at the house and in the flatbed. And we're back. Back with the flatbed, back with the old school bus, turned into a camper? I don't know. But now we got to drive back up to the old sawmill in this old thing. I think I'm just going to drive down to the road and get hit the main road. I think that would be our best course of action. I'd kind of like to clear a path down to the road from here, but I don't think that's going to work. But yeah, so we'll uh, drive down here, get on the road. Could've, I could have cut across right there. I may paint a road right there. <laughs> I might do it. We'll see. I do have the mod that allows me to paint anywhere, paint terraform anywhere, so I may do it. We'll see what happens. But let's get this old girl up to the... Uh, up to the sawmill, get everything on it, and then get it back down here to the uh, roller coaster and sell the goods on it. We're at $153,922 now. After I left, I did take a look at property prices, land prices, stuff like that, and it's expensive up there. It's like three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars and $400,000, almost $500,000 for a plot of land up there. So, I don't believe I'm going to be placing the furnace up there. Which means we're going to have to ferry that ore a long way in that real slow Volvo BM. But, it is what it is. I will do what I got to do to make the money. So, yeah. Okay. Get the brakes real quick on that thing. Get this old girl up here. And get her loaded up. I'm not going to put the uh, the bed down. Probably load these in the back. Let's see. I will buy a forklift eventually. Today is not that day, I'm sorry. I 
think I can fit one more right there. What y'all think? Y'all think I can fit another one right there? I think I can. Even if I can't, I think I'm going to. There we go. Let's pop that strap on there and get some more up there. We'll just throw the stuff on there for now and we'll get it fixed up in a minute. Well, I say I'll get it fixed up in a minute. We all know what's going to happen right now. I'm not OCD, but I like to have everything in order. I know that's kind of the same thing, but... Oh, I thought I saw some planks down there. Alright, so here's the beams. And here's the long planks. And we're going to sell all this to the uh, to the construction site because we're eventually going to need it all. I've also got to get that metal being turned or forged, furnished, whatever. I don't know. I don't know the words that I'm looking for. I just hope a uh, a new box doesn't spawn over here while I'm over here. I mean, I wouldn't turn it down. It is kind of free money. Well, not free, but, you know. Let's undo the ratchet straps. Throw this up here. Okay, that kind of needs to be a ratchet strap down. Sling all them up there. And we're pretty close to some more wood beams, looks like, and uh, planks. So we may sit here for a few minutes and actually we may speed time up a little bit and get that on there. Let's do that right quick. have some beams, planks, and long planks all together. Alrighty. That's got that done. Let's bring that back to 15 times. So these beams up here. long planks can go up here on top of those long planks. You think I was a professional here. Oop, then I hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's how it works, guys. This old girl's heavy. That's for sure. That's for sure. It says 8.7 tons. We'll see if that... Uh, goes up again here in a minute. All right, so this is 600 uh, kilograms. 8.7 tons plus 600. It'd be like 9.13 or 9.3 I think. I don't know. We'll just leave that there. That still says 8.7, so yeah. Not right. I guess that's just the truck weight. We are burning a crap ton of fuel right now. It was like 800 liters an hour. I think it's like 4 liters per gallon or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't know the conversion rate. Okay. Let's get these down to the roller coaster. We'll cut our beacons on. That way people know, hey, something sketchy about this. Now we've used a ton of fuel just in the past little bit. We've only drove this thing to the uh, house and up here and back down here. And we've already used almost an eighth of a tank. So yeah, this thing gulps fuel down. We're 
<laughs> Shoot, we're using 700 liters an hour, 800 almost. Uh, it's coming back down, 500. But anyways, we'll get this sold off, see how much money we got, and we'll probably buy that fancy uh, Komatsu. Throw our turn signal on. There we go. Steering didn't recenter as quick as I thought it would. Let's have a look here and see what we need. Still quite a bit of stuff needed. We've got plenty of planks. Plenty of long planks. We're about to have a lot more of each, though. There we go. All that sold $71,000. So let's drive this back up to the house and then come to back down and get that Komatsu. That's awesome. We, we made some money this, uh, this go around. Okay. Now we'll park this thing back where I got it. Then let's go, uh, we're probably gonna buy the Komatsu. We might buy something else. Let's just take a nice stroll down to the, uh, down to the store where we'll find that Komatsu or some kind of tree cutter. There's that beautiful Mack truck that I got right there. Thing's definitely fun. Oh, uh, it's a good truck. Really, really powerful truck. Don't know what that is. Probably some kind of bakery or something. I like how they added the smoke to the smokestacks from the uh, the chimneys from all the businesses and everything. Really puts off a nice feel that everything's being lived in. All right, forestry machines. So we could go with the Malwa, which, as I've stated before, is funny because I have a Malinwa and it loves to chew wood as well. He's my buddy. Um, we got the Komatsu here. We got two hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars. The fancy little tractor. 180 horsepower. Huh. That tractor's expensive. That's what that is. $202,000? Nah. Not if it's going to be used in forestry. I don't even see how it's 200. Oh, because without the safety frame and that, 202,000. Okay, yeah. It looks good. Let's see what the max would be. I think it's going to be the. Uh, What was it? Trailer board? $3,200? That's insane. $380,200 for a 236 horsepower tractor. Yes, it's got a crane. Yes, it's got a couple of bulldozer blades, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Here's a skitter here. We can use it to drag trees around and such as that. We can change the capacity of the fuel tank. There's the same skitter. I don't know why there's two of them in there. Um. Okay, so there's the Ponzi Buffalo. 
And after that, it's out of my price range. It's sad, because right here is... Here's the Volvo. 260000 I'm kind of wondering... Okay, we're going to get a small loan. We're going to get a small loan. We're going to get a $150,000 loan. I know I said small. I forgot I've got that mod on that automatically turns the lights on. So I'm going to have to turn that off, most likely. Alright, so... Well, that's nice. We're not getting that, but that's nice. That's 285. There's a. I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Oh, that's cool. So. Okay. So it's a wood chipper. It's a self propelled wood chipper. It's a beaver raider. Okay. Then here's the other Volvo. This is the big Volvo, 292 horsepower as opposed to 187. All right, we're going to do this with the fast coupler. We'll do tinted windows. Yes, we're going to have a safety beacon. Yeah, we're going to have a beacon as well. $260,750. Okay. That's been purchased. Now, let's come down here. Actually, why don't I just go here and do the click thing. Okay, so there's the wood cracker. Let's buy that. I hope that's a delimmer as well. I think it is. And then, kind of want to buy this as well. We won't buy it right now, but we are going to keep that. Keep that in our mind that we want it. Okay. This will be a little bit to get used to. There we go. Alright, so both of them are flashing. Looks like the safety beacon flashes no matter what. So we have a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> uh, no kidding though. No. Uh, we got a long way to go. We're going to cut down one tree with this. And see how it goes. Then we'll sleep through the night. And we'll end the episode there. But I'm very, very intrigued as to how well this is going to work. So, yeah. We just spent $300,000, essentially, on an excavator and a tree grapple and cutter. So, yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. But... The plus side is, is this is going to make it a lot easier to actually do some uh, forestry stuff. And if this does actually deal in the trees as well, that's going to be nice. I'm trying to find some tall trees. Oh, there's one. We don't have a dozer blade on this uh, excavator. 
We'll probably definitely get the uh, the bucket as well. I think that would be good. All right, so we'll cut down a couple of trees and drag them out and delimb them. There we go. me hit the help button. Alright, I don't know how to cut with it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I was very confuzzled. Oh, it doesn't look like it delims it. Oh, that sucks. I could have had a delimmer and an automatic cutter. Oh, I should have tried it out first. That sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> We've got a Volvo. So... With that being said, I think next time I will see about taking and selling this cutter head and then buying the planter head, planting a bunch of trees, and then I'll sell both of these and buy that Komatsu. But, yeah. That, that sucks. I'm going to get rid of this mod with the automatic lights. I like to be able to do it myself if I want to. May have to hide from somebody. Hey, at least there's light here. Alright, well, let's sleep through the night. We'll sleep till 6 a.m. again. And see how much money we lost. Shouldn't be that much. Yeah. 500 and something bucks. That's not bad. Alright, well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Please comment and let me know what you think. Uh, remember, if you found a collectible, please leave a timestamp telling me uh, where that collectible is. I'll go back and look, and we'll get it in the next episode. But, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the month. Uh, the end of next month, I'm sorry. The end of December. I think we have a really good shot of doing it. I'm at 58 right now. With y'all's help, I can get to 100. No problem. But, anyways, y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode.